everyone, it's Kathy from KathyZilski.com back with another installment of Kathy Makes a Card. Today, I am going to make a pretty simple cardstocky card. And I'm gonna use some things I've used before because I wanna get the most out of my products. And here are those products. Today, I'm using the Plain and Simple set and the Elfie Selfie set from Lawn Fawn. But I'm really just gonna pull out that little guy and I'm gonna stamp out a few images to use on my card. I'm starting today with the Memento ink, and I've got some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I'm gonna pick that up with the little misty door and go ahead and magnetize that back down and ink it up. Now I'm using Memento today because I'm planning to do a little bit of Copic coloring, emphasis on little. It's not, it's not gonna blow your minds, people. <laughs> Let me just be really clear. But I'm gonna make a few impressions here, so mostly it's because I screw up, and when I screw up, I like to have a backup. So I've got plenty of paper airplanes, hearts, and mice. Now my Copic collection is small, and I started my collection with warm grays, and part of the reason was I thought, how hard could it be to screw up when you're coloring something gray? And really, surprisingly, it's 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 you it's easier than you think. So starting with colors that are really light and neutral, they help me make the appearance that I can actually blend them together. And so my little guys are going to be gray, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color a gray airplane too. Shading is tricky. I feel like I'm getting better at it, and I'm going to learn more as I go. But again, when you're sticking with really simple colors, I think you can get away with your lack of skill. At least that's the story I'm going with. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, bring some oranges in, and I've just got two. I've got the, the YR02 and the YR04, and again, you know, I kind of wing it with the coloring. I go in with the light, and then I bring in the dark. I've seen it done both ways, where you start with the dark and come in with the light. But for me, right now, this is the process. But I'm keeping it simple color-wise because I'm going to be making this very simple card that's basically orange, white, and black. I'm gonna color in my hearts. No, I don't want red hearts. I wanted orange. Again, just to keep this a very monochromatic little card project. So I'm gonna finish coloring those up. And once I get them done, I'm gonna use some low-tack tape and get the matching dies and run them through my die cut machine. I don't usually show my die cut machine on my big shot on camera because my hand is so big, it, it dwarfs it all. But there you go, the magic of die cutting still blows my mind. Next up, I've gotta cut some orange cardstock for my card, and this is a cardstock called Sweet Mango from Gina K. I love this stuff. I love the color, I love the weight, and I, I have a big stash of it. Now I'm gonna use this puffy cloud background, and I've used it on another video project that I did, but I'm getting my money's worth. So I've cut out the panel, and I've got two stitched shape dies. One is going to be the inner background, if you will, of the card. And I'm not gonna tape these together and cut them at the same time. I'm not that advanced yet. I just want to get the background panel first and I wanna make sure that I don't cut off any weird areas of the clouds. So I'm gonna cut this panel, looks good. And now I'm gonna lay this over, get it positioned just right and then tape it down so that it won't cut off any awkward areas of the clouds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut down this cardstock so that it will fit and it will fill in the background of my little white area that I need because I'm gonna go ahead and take this little stitched trail heart, which is adorable. And I'm just gonna lay that down right now in the window to try to figure out where I want it to be. And I've gotta get my mouse and my plane, which I haven't put together yet, but I will shortly. But I just kinda of wanna put them in there for position only, as they say in the design world, and figure out how to position that adorable little trail. And the stitch trail set, it seriously is. It is like the cutest thing. So I'm gonna get my low tack tape, pop that down, and now it's in place and I can just move these things out of the way carefully and run that through my die cut. And now I'm gonna make a little slit in the plane. 
Saw this done. I saw this done in another video. It was a lawn fun video, which is where I got the idea to take this cute mouse from this set and pop him into the plane. But really, it's like so cute. He's just sitting in there. Hey, let's go for a ride. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to glue him down and put a bunch of little thin foam adhesive on the back so that he's popped up. Sometimes I cut my pieces really small just because I like, I like a nice coverage. Another thing that I like, my scissors, they have my name on them. So don't even, don't even ask, okay, they're mine. Now I've cut another panel, a stitched panel. Well, that was really fast because I didn't, I didn't film it long enough, but here's my card base. And this bone folder, again, I'm probably gonna talk about it in glowing terms for the rest of my life, but it just does such a nice job of scoring. It's so smooth. It doesn't break the cardstock. It's expensive, but I feel like it's, I'm, I'm glad I spent the money. Now I'm gonna put a little piece of blue tape just inside there, pop it into my Misty, and that's my card base. And I've already put some adhesive on the, my, the back of that stitched panel. I'm gonna flip it over and use the Misty to line things up. Again, best tip I ever learned on the internet because now I don't have to think too hard. And at my age, I wanna preserve all the brain cells that I can, you know what I mean? All right, I've got my fun foam, which I also did off camera, but I put some fun foam on the back of this panel. I used that scrapbook adhesives to mount it on there. That stuff is great for fun foam. And now it's on my card base. I can plop down my little guy because he's been all adhered and popped up. Ugh. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my hearts. And then I'm gonna use my little, my little stick it tool because I, I like this thing. I like that it helps me. My, my fingers get so slippery during crafting. Am I, is, am I alone on this? This tool helps me to pick things up and boom, so cute. Now I'm just gonna finish this with some glossy accents, which I'm still a little nervous every time I use it because I think, okay, here we go. You're gonna screw it up. You're gonna get bubbles. But this time, no bubbles. My skill increases by the day. The last piece is to do a little sentiment. I've just got a little black strip here and my Versamark ink. I'm gonna ink it up and I'm just using this Hero Arts white embossing powder, which is my favorite powder. I love this stuff. And what I forgot to do here, I didn't use my anti-static tool. And normally I use that thing all the time because I have a problem with the, you know, with it sticking and all the extra powder, but this time it worked out great. So put a little dimensional adhesive on the back and centered that, put it down. And you know what? This card is done. Mm. So there you have it. It's a basic card that has cardstock, a little bit of coloring, just enough technique, but not so much that you're gonna lose your mind trying to recreate something like this. Because if a new card maker like I can do it, so can you. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.